Hey there and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create your professional email using Google Workspace and using your web hosting. So in this case, I'll be using a web hosting called Bluehost. I know I've created a video about how to create a professional email using Google Workspace and Namecheap and GoDaddy. So these are two separate video two different ways though the process is more or less the same now i'm going to uh, use um, how to create professional email using google workspace and your web hosting so uh i'm using a web hosting called bluehost right this is what i use i recommend people to use bluehost i'll leave a link of bluehost in the description i'll also leave a link of uh, google workspace in the description so you can use it but if you don't have bluehost as a web hosting do not fret, do not be confused or say, oh, I don't have uh, Bluehost, how am I gonna do it? You can also do it with your web hosting. I don't know what web hosting you have, that's up to you, so you, it doesn't matter. But the process is the same. So the things you need to add on your web hosting is basically the same. So I'll walk you through the details on how to do that. Okay, once you are on your PC, what you need to do is you need to go to your browser and type Ulrich media so Uric media Uric media onecom slash google workspace and you just tap enter so it will lead you into the google workspace homepage. so this is my unique affiliate link that's what i use when you buy from my link i will do get a commission at no extra cost to you so i really appreciate if you do that okay awesome so once you are on this page you need to just scroll down here right uh, where it says business starter that's where most people start so it's at 5.99 per month 30 gigabyte uh gemini a secure custom email 100 participant meeting video so when we go to the business standard it's essentially double the price of the starter you get two terabyte pull story which is what well, 30 times the size of what you get on the starter a secure custom business email and a lot more details as you can see here the business plus you do get a lot of other things here so there's five terabyte pool storage and a lot more things here the enterprise so you need to contact sell and then they will arrange a price for you so it says here up to 1000 participants for example but in this case i think most people are going to be like starting or small businesses or starter or startups right or intimidate people who have already run a business for a very long time and they have a lot of personnel. Uh, no matter what plan you choose, the process to set up Google Workspace is the same. Just so you know, if you choose the business starter, the process to set it up is going to be the same as the business plus. So I'll begin with the starter. I'll start with the business starter and just click it on get started now. I'll enter my business name here. Number of employees, I have two to nine people. Region is the United Kingdom, and then I'll just click on next. What's your contact information? I'll enter. Does your business have a domain name? Yes, I have one that I can use. Message, just click on next for now. And here, how would you sign in? I would just use contact. You can use sales, you can use info, you can use whatever you prefer just remember this is going to be your professional email right so you may as well you have to think through if it's the um if it's the one you want to use if you just remember that this is going to be your primary domain name i've said add, so it says here add user to businesslaunch.com that's fine i'm not going to add any users for now don't and just click on skip for now so it says now get start uh, let's set up your domain so verify that you own this one right? click it on get started okay so what i'll need to do here is i'll need to add the txt record and the uh, and the cnm record so let's go to our uh, bluehost account what you need to do is you need to come to your um, web hosting so just click here on settings and on settings click here on domains and here where it says your actual domain name right so you need to come down here to the three dots here and click here on advanced DN dns editor 
There's another way of doing it. You can actually go here to domains, click on domains and click on the domain you like. It will also lead you into the same place, right? So yeah. So now we need to add a record. So click here on add record. So let's add txt record. Refer to add, that's fine. The value, we're just going to copy the value here. Uh, the value is this one. So we're just going to copy that. And I'm going to paste the value down here. The TTL is four hours. Apparently that's the default. Let's check what's there. So le let's leave it to four hours. It's fine. That's the default. And just click on add. We've added one record. We've added a TTX record. We're going to add another record. So click on add record, a CNAME record. If you click down on that, let's add a record. It's going to be CNAME, refer to other host name. Enter the name. This is the one. So let's just enter the host name here. And then I'm going to put the value down here. Okay, that's the value. TTL is uh, four, just click on add. And it has now added. Let's click here on this box and click on confirm. Okay, it says your domain is verified. Amazing, we've done it. Uh, you verify business or launch. Okay, start using Gmail. So click on activate and click on continue. Uh, proceed with activation. That's fine. Domain is the blue host. That's okay. And just click here on continue. Now we need to add our MX records, right? So let's add our MX record now. Um, if I go back to blue host here, I'm going to add another record. It's called MX. And host record set to default. So let's leave that to add. Point to this is the mail server smtp.google.com. Okay, let's add that. Uh, the mail server is here. The priority is one, priority is one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, just click on add and just click here on this box and click on confirm. Okay, it says now you verify business are launch. Uh, Gmail is ready to use. So uh, add user and uh, don't worry about this bit. Just just click here on explore Google Workspace. Uh, what's the main goal? So just tick everything here. I will need all of this and just click on continue. And just click on continue. Uh, I recommend you to go through this with this and just click on mark done. If you're not ready to read through it now, it's okay. You can always come back and read through it later. Uh, I'll go to my admin dashboard. So click, click here on admin. Let's go back to your home here. And it's asking us to log in again. So I will use this one to log in. Uh, sign in. So this is what I have. I'm going to use another, my actual email that I created is contact. Just click on next. And then let's, let's go to our Gmail account. So that's what, that's what we need to, uh, just turn on smart feature next, turn on smart next, turn on smart and then save. Just click on reload and just close that really. So essentially we've set up our professional email. This is our email. We set up everything. This is our admin console. Every time you will need to log in, you need to first of all log in with your first email that you created, that you signed up with Google Workspace, and then you will need to use your professional email and password. That's the two emails you need to. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching the video. That was all about how to create a professional email using uh, Google Workspace and your web hosting. So it doesn't matter which type of web hosting you're using, the process is the same. Okay.